First thing you want to do on your Chromebook is go to settings. Go up here to the search bar, put in Linux, and as you will see, we will turn on Linux. It's going to ask you what you want to do, blah, 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 either cancel or next. We'll hit next. Just do that. Press install. Here is our terminal. It automatically jumped up. First things you want to do on here is update. So you're going to write down sudo apt update. Enter. We will go here to Ultimaker Cura. Download for free. Ultimaker Cura 5.6.0. You have Mac, you have Windows, and then you have Linux. We're going to hit this Linux.app image. And it will start to download. You're going to go and open your folder. It will be into your download right about here. If you notice, there is a Linux files over here on your left hand side. We're going to just click and drag that app image over into the Linux files. Okay, so now we are back here on the terminal. I want to put in chmod a plus x ultimaker dash cura dash 5.6.0 dash Linux dash x64 dot app image I believe that's how I do it right yeah yeah and press enter uh no such file why because I probably missed messed up on something I mess up so you don't there we go it's all about spelling and punctuation and capitalization capitalization if you actually press in ls it will list whatever's in there in your linux files your linux container as you can see ultimaker cura 5.6 i'm just going to clip on uh, double click on that it says it's copied now i'm going to press in period forward slash and i'm going to cop uh, uh, paste that press enter I need Fuse. That's right. So, so as you can see, Fuse needs to be put in. So we should be able to do sudo apt install lib fuse2. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Period, forward slash, paste. Okay, there we go. So, welcome to Ultimaker. Let's get started. A disclaimer, we'll just agree. Blah, blah, blah. It's going to ask you about all the different things. Uh, we will skip this for now. Now, if you have an Ultimaker uh, brand printer, there it is right there. But I have a non-Ultimaker printer. So, I'm going to show you how to do it. So, in case you have an Anycubic Cobra, an Ender 3, a Elegoo Neptune. So, uh, let's see, we are not hooked up to it. I'm going to close the Ultimaker ones. Oh my god, this is such a small print, i got to take off my glasses. And we'll scroll down to, for my machine, Elegoo, Neptune 3 Plus, right there. There's the manufacturer. The profile was by Narutu Narut, the one with the running. <laughs> I'm an idiot. We will press next. That's going to pull the profile that was made for that machine. Uh, everything from the size of the print bed to if it's using uh, a direct drive or Bowden tube, um, and it'll put in just the. Uh, the generics for it. It has a 0.4 millimeter, but uh, you know, 0.4 millimeter nozzle, PLA, such like that. Um, now, every time you put in a new 
uh, version of anything, it's going to show you like this uh, what's new. So we'll just skip through some of this stuff, you know, how it's putting in. Um, ooh, look at that. New honeycomb. And it'll give you all the release notes and everything if you really want to read through that stuff. Uh, sometimes I do say go for that. So, um, let's see if I can move myself over here. Ha <laughs> ha! Here's your machine itself. You can actually go into machine settings. Took a little bit. As you can see, it shows up as my 330 by 330 millimeter X and Y and the 410 Z height. Uh, rectangular, heated bed. Uh, and actually, I go... Yep, it's all on Marlin. Um, now... Again, this is for my machine. Your machine might be different. Uh, I can actually put stuff into the start of the G-code and the end of the G-code. That's about it. There's nothing really to it. Um, as you see, I had some problems with a little bit of typing. You're going to have that. Let that let those that anxiety feeling go. It's easy to do. You're not going to mess anything up. And if you do, sorry not my fault. No, I'm joking. <laughs> if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments. I answer everything I possibly can in the comments, or I at least give it a thumbs up. 